So today I'm talking about a P0040 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0040 code? What's well, an O2 sensor signal swapped, bank one, sensor one, bank two, sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses sensors that are located on the exhaust and they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture going into the engine. And with this code, it's seeing the wiring got swapped for some reason. Although some other things can cause this. For example, if you have a V6 or V8 engine, and you're getting too much fuel on bank two, but then the onboard computer is seeing that bank one oxygen sensor is reacting to this, then it's going to trigger this code. So it can be caused by some other things, but the main thing that's triggering this code is that the onboard computer thinks that these wires are swapped. And so the first thing to do when this happens to you is to get a diagram of the oxygen sensors and how they're all laid out. It's just going to make it easier to troubleshoot. For example, here's a 2007 Camry with a 3.5 liter V6, and it shows where all the oxygen sensors are. And so the first thing to do, if possible, is to get a diagram of it and locate how all the oxygen sensors are laid out on your particular vehicle. And so some possible causes of a P0040 code. Well, the first thing is going to be that somehow those wires got crossed. And so that's going to be the first thing to check. It could also be some other kind of wiring issue, something else causing this problem for some reason. The computer might also be bad, the PCM or ECM. There could be some kind of issue going on there. And it might be a bad O2 sensor, although more than likely it's going to be something to do with the wiring. It is possible that one of those sensors is causing some kind of issue. And so the first thing to do when you start to troubleshoot them is check to see if these wires did get crossed especially if the vehicle was just worked on if it wasn't just worked on then it's probably not crossed but it's the first thing to go and check and what you can do even possibly is swap the wires out and see if the code goes away just to see if the wires did get crossed for some reason but this is the first thing to go and do is going to be to check to see if those o2 sensor wires did get plugged into the wrong connectors and if those wires are not crossed then the next thing to do is to check the wiring going back all the way to the pcm and check to see if anything got shorted or anything like this and basically just check that wiring really good you're gonna have to check it all the way back to the onboard computer and be sure that there's no shorts or opens or anything like this it's mainly on those pins going to the O2 sensor. And if you check that all out, if you check out the wiring, that all looks good. You can also go through and you could test these O2 sensors or swap them out however you want to do it since it might be possible that something's going on with one of those sensors that's causing the issue. Although this is fairly unlikely, this is more likely a wiring problem, it is possible. So be sure to test or replace those O2 sensors to rule them out as a possible cause. But if you've gone through and you checked everything else out, the wires aren't crossed, you can't find any wiring problems. This includes fuses and things like this going up into the engine compartment and everything looks good, then at that point, it's possible that that onboard computer has just failed, that that PCM has just gone bad. This is fairly rare, but it does happen sometimes. But at that point, if you checked everything else out, then you're going to want to test or replace that onboard computer since it might have gone bad. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a quick video on how you go about fixing a P0040 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.